Hi Virgo, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world. So you can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Right now, I'm going to do a reading for Virgo people that what will happen from 15th of September till 30th of September 2023 overall. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a cross spread from this tarot deck and we'll see what will happen uh, in the second half of September for Virgo people. So let's start with your reading Virgo. And personal readings are available now for the people living in United States, UK, Europe and Canada. I do these readings on live video call on Skype. So if you're interested in buying a personal reading and you live in these locations, uh, just add me on Skype and we'll take you from there. The Skype ID is written on the screen right now and it's also in the description of this video. Okay, messages for Virgo, 15th to 30th of September. 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 Okay, Virgo. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So the first card in the middle we have is. Ten of Swords. So Virgo, I feel that worst has already happened. For some of you, you ended something. For some of you, you were betrayed or uh, you felt betrayed. Uh, but I think um, uh, it has already uh, done. So now uh, the good thing is that this cycle is closing and uh, for some of you, it has already closed. So it was uh, for a few of you, it can be about uh, your marriage, something, some problems with the marriage or a committed relationship, 10 of cups in your mind space and queen of pentacles uh, underneath. So uh, it's basically uh, your happiness, your happiness went away of course, it's a general reading, so there will be different reasons for different people. Uh, but for some of you, it can be your marriage did not work out or is not working out or something happened in your marriage or in a committed relationship or in some work situation. It's actually something which was which you thought um, uh, was great or you were looking forward to it or you had your plans. Uh, with that thing that okay I'm gonna do this and like it was a final thing which actually fell down and uh, it did not work that way so uh, for some of you it can be about work also like a job or a profession uh, or something like that it, it, it was something that was your desire your happiness your goal or something like that. So, of course, it can be anything. But I think uh, it has already, uh, like, uh, finished for some of you, or some of you, uh, it's like uh, the worst happened in that. But now you have gotten clarity because we have Ace of Swords before that. So recently you got clarity about your life or overall maybe. I, I think for some of you, you have gotten some kind of clarity about your overall life that, okay, um, this is not working for me. It's not just one area. It can be different things. So now you know and uh, you have gotten clarity. So, so you're cleaning up. So you have been cleaning up your life uh, from the things uh, which haven't served you, from the situations which haven't served, served you, so you're cleaning them up. 
Yeah, two of wands in the shadow. So yes, now you are planning for future. And uh, in your future, lots of things and situations are not there which were there before. Uh, and I feel that now you are not making a move right now. You are just thinking and contemplating and planning and you are on a crossroad to make some kind of decision that how to move forward in life or how to move forward in certain situations. Whatever happened, Virgo, uh, you have learned a lot from that. Uh, that's what I feel. You have learned your lessons and uh, now uh, before moving forward, you are taking your time, you are thinking, you are planning, you are contemplating and uh, you are uh, analyzing it deeply. Moving forward, first we have Queen of Swords. So yes, lessons learned and uh, you are still cleaning up. So you will be very straightforward, very blunt in the second half of September and you will be uh, cleaning up things which are still there, some of the things or situations which are still, uh, you feel that uh, they, they don't need to be there. Uh, situations or persons or people or things, something like that. So you already learned your lessons and now you're applying in the second half of September, I see some practical implement, implementation of uh, what you have learned uh, from the setbacks you had. So, so that's uh, what I think lots of you are doing it right now. Uh, and then we have very nice energy, Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. It can be a new beginning in uh, work, it can be a new beginning in love, it can be a new beginning in anything, but this beginning is really promising. Ace of Pentacles is a very strong, stable energy. For some of you, maybe you'll get some kind of opportunity. For some of you, you'll start something very solid on a uh, solid basis. Uh, for some of you, you're going to get some money in the second half of... Uh, uh, September, uh, you'll receive some money, some payments, and uh, also it's a it's a brilliant. Uh, so I think the contemplation time uh, is almost over. The healing time, the reflection time is over. Now you know, and I think you're gonna start moving forward, and you're gonna take the decisions, and you you're gonna start the car and move on the road now, um, because I see your life starting in the second part of September. And then we have Seven of Cups. You'll be, you'll have lots of options uh, in all areas of your life and you'll have lots of options, avenues, uh, and you'll be a little bit confused about that, that okay, which way to go and which option to pick. So you'll be, I don't know, imagining or uh, there can be some illusions also. So keep that in mind. Uh, be realistic about it. Uh, Seven of Cups is a neutral energy, but uh, still uh, it's about illusions also. It's not that every option will be an illusion. It's like um, there will be illusions mixed in the middle of those options. So keep that in mind. Let's clarify this. Clarify, Seven of Cups. Okay, Empress. Uh, also, uh, you will be very focused on your uh, looks for some of you. Like you'll be, uh, I don't know, uh, doing something about your looks, making them better, or um, I don't know, just focusing on that. That's what I feel. And your own well-being. Like you'll be very focused on yourself, how you look, how you present yourself, how you move, how you um, go out, how you dress up, things like that. And also 
you will be very uh, focused on your growth. It can be financial growth. It can be uh, all kinds of growths. Uh, so uh, basically, your own stability and growth, you'll be very focused on yourself, uh, like loving yourself, self-love kind of thing. Uh, but it's in a very positive way. And also, um, I feel that uh, for a very few of you, not for everybody, you'll be thinking about, I don't know, if you're married, you'll be thinking about having a baby, getting pregnant. Not for everybody, of course. Uh, and uh, if you're not married, then maybe imagining about getting married, having babies and all that. Some of you can uh, fantasize that or imagine that or 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 like uh, you'll have some kind of uh, wish for that. But overall, it's a positive energy. And I think you're going to uh, really avoid drama now. Five of Swords in the Shadow. Whatever drama, whatever things or people that create drama in your life or uh, turbulence in your life, you're going to avoid those situations and you're going to avoid those people because you don't need any drama anymore. So you'll be very relaxed and calm and uh, you will also start taking action now. The action which you have been thinking and contemplating about. So it's a productive time for you, the second half of September, Vogo. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.